I'm Johnny, and it's time for bunny squeezing. Okay, so last week when I was doing my book reviews, I was doing a book review of a particularly excellent and awesome artist, and I said this. It's dudes like this that make me so jealous. Okay, Johnny, you might be asking yourself, so what? So you're jealous of this great artist. Who cares? But there's kind of a problem there. See, jealousy implies that you want to possess the thing that the other has and take it away from them. And it has this crazy edge of, I deserve it, you do not, and it is mine. So when I say I am jealous of a talent that somebody has, there's frankly a lot of levels of yuck. I'm not all that interested in and that my better self wants to erase. Unless I really want to take it from his heart and consume it so that I may gain its power. But yeah, jealousy is an emotion that is not going to do anyone any good. Like, as an artist, you should let an artist's work inspire you. Don't get jealous about it. But I think that whole jealousy thing comes from a place where you believe the work is something that you have somehow created and it's all of you that's poured into that work. And I'm sorry, but you're wrong. Let me tell you a little story. There's a little girl who loved bunnies very much. And so her parents took her to the pet store and they got her a bunny and she just adored it so much that she Look, hugged it so it close it and squeezed it so tight. And then when they got home, they had found that the bunny was dead. You can squeeze the life out of your own creative works. And your creative works then become the victim of your own front eyes. It, just in, in silly ways, like not releasing stuff even though it's ready because it's not quite ready yet. It's not quite perfect. Or even just not being able to get that first draft out on paper. I mean, this is stuff I've covered. Also, as an artist, it's important that you just fucking acknowledge your influences. All right? Art by nature is derivative. There's no such thing as original art. That is a thing that cannot happen. And that's okay. That's how the thing works. But if all art is derivative, then why are you squeezing the bunny to death? I'm telling you, you gotta watch out for the front eyes. Careful. So, John A., you might be asking yourself, how can you say that all art is derivative? Well, let me give you just a few examples. Elvis Presley, rock and roll, basically stole it. The Rolling Stones, highly, highly derivative band. Okay, how about Star Wars? Seminal work. Truly original, right? Mm, no. They're shot-for-shot -shot reproductions of earlier films. And in fact, Kirby Ferguson goes through a lot of these instances and shows exactly all the different ways in which everything is a remix. It's a 40-minute film, and it's fascinating and super awesome. You should go check that out. I've been remiss to have been vlogging for so long and not pointing you guys to this. So yeah, I've got my own set of projects that I'm holding on to and not quite releasing yet because I'm crazy. What things have you got to release? If you have something, it's almost ready for release, but not quite. What you need to do is expose yourself to that item. Listen to that song. Listen to that mix. Look at that picture. Whatever. Figure out what's missing between that and that getting out to the world and close that gap quickly. The best artists have a huge body of work and anything unreleased is stopping you from being a better artist. And until next time... Releasing is fun.